Jim Barron. Yeah. Hey guys, how's everybody doing tonight? Are we having fun? All right, well, fucking stop it for a second because we got to get serious. All right, good. It got quiet. That's what I wanted. This area is incredibly dangerous, you guys. It's really, like, every time I come here, I worry for my own safety. Because it is fucking dangerously sexy around here. Like, I drive from, like, an hour north where everybody looks like the mutants from The Hills Have Eyes. You know? Like, uh, and me, and, me included. Uh, but, like, so I come down here, and I'm just blown away by the sea of just gorgeous faces. And, like, it's, it's, it's stunning. It really is. Uh, you know, I... Like Megan said, I'm here every week, and every week it's the exact same, you know? I come in, and like, the employees are gorgeous, like, the crowds are gorgeous. Uh, this like crazy shirtless homeless guy asked me for a dollar when I was parking my car, and you guys, this guy was fucking minced. Like, his cum gutters, like, had cum gutters. Like, I don't know if you know that, but this man had a semen irrigation system going on on his lower torso, and it was, it was magnificent, and like, I only had a 20 on me, I know what to do, you know, right? So, I just gave it to him. And then I sucked his dick. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, whoa, Jim, buddy, friend of five to 10 years. That's what you're all thinking. Uh, we've all been friends for a long time. You're like, that's too far. That's just too much, you know? Like, one of those two things would have been more than enough for this guy, you know? He's homeless, like, don't break the bank. And all I gotta say is, you weren't there, you know? So, you know, that's been going on with me and him for like 12 weeks straight now. I, I wonder why he keeps coming up to me, uh, but I'm not pushing him away, you know? <laughs> so, I, I really like that joke because it's always like good for a few, a few laughs, you know? Um, I want to tell you guys something that me and actor Vin Diesel have in common. Aside from the fact that a lot of people don't like us, uh, it's, it's going to be, it's our approach to our craft, you know? like. We're gonna give you some Fast and Furious movies so that we can give you some Riddick movies, you know? Like, I don't know if you know the story behind that, but like, he did five minutes in Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift in exchange for the rights to the Riddick character. Like, that's the most baller business move ever, right? It's because that's what he wants to do, you know? So I'm like, I'm gonna, like, I recently was on, uh, on YouTube and I was like flipping through some of my old videos and this guy commented and like disliked it, which was like, that's really rude. There's only like 28 views on this thing. Like, don't get to it. Uh, and his comment was like, was about this next joke I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna ruin it by telling you what that is. He's, uh, he's like, hey man, you gotta stop doing that joke. It's just not fun. Like, nobody's laughing. You're, be you're beating the horse to death. Like, write some new material. The, write the new material is actually at the top if you rearrange that over, it doesn't really matter. But, uh, so he's like, just, just stop doing it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that joke because that's my riddick, you know? Like, I want to I talk about blow the homeless dude, and that's your Fast and Furious. And so I want to do that so I can tell this joke that actually means something to me, you know? So, uh, so this year, actually, I actually started doing comedy because uh, I was going through a separation with my wife. Uh, and I was just like, I need something to do on Tuesdays when she has my kid. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I started coming down here, and, uh, and like, so this actually happened in that, in that period of time. Like, you know, when you're, when somebody dumps you, it's, it's a swirl. Have you been dumped before? Like, been, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I know, that has. <laughs> He's been dumped, he knows what's up. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, it fucks with your emotions, like, really badly. Like, you end up just, like, reacting to things in ways you didn't think you ever would. Uh, I actually uh, cried watching someone watch Mrs. Doubtfire on YouTube. Like, and yeah, I want to break that down for maximum effect. I am a 31-year-old supposed adult male uh, who, who cried uncontrollable tears from my face uh, watching somebody else, a stranger, I have no emotional connection to this man, watch the 1993 Robin Williams family comedy classic Mrs. Doubtfire, right? Uh, and just a side note, Mrs. Doubtfire was directed by Chris Columbus, and I'm not talking about like the 15th century slave trader, I'm talking about the guy who wrote The Gremlins. You know, this guy directed the first two Harry Potter movies, and his movie about uh, a cross-dressing divorced dad made, like, made me cry. It's not even the movie. It was somebody else watching the movie, which was the fucked up part. Uh, and I find it really funny, like, in, I found it funny actually like an hour later, but 
like after that was after 59 minutes of being like, what the fuck just happened? Like, did I, did I just cry watching someone watch Mrs. Doubtfire on YouTube? That's fucked up. Uh, and uh, it was weird. Like, so I don't know if you guys know. Um, has anybody ever watched like a movie reaction on YouTube? It's not the full movie, you guys. It's 20 minutes of the movie. I cried watching somebody else watch 20 minutes of Mrs. Doubtfire. There's no emotional buildup in between scenes. There, none of that. It was just like, oh yeah, that scene. Yeah, that's fucking. I don't know what's going on. Like, uh, and like, and you'd probably think like, like a normal person, like. I would be watching the movie Mrs. Doubtfire on the television set and like getting emotionally involved that way, but no, I'm on my lunch break in my car watching on my phone another person watch Mrs. Doubtfire and just fucking like bawling from my face. Uh, and like that's it's pretty fucked up. Um, but yeah, it's super fucked up. But it's, in hindsight, the most hilarious thing that happened to me this year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, um, but uh, it's like that's entertaining for me now. Like I watch other people watch movies because I've watched just way too many movies. Uh, and that's why I just like talk about Chris Columbus randomly for a few minutes because I'm like a fucking dork like that. But uh, I'm actually thinking about starting a reaction channel for my five-year-old daughter because she's not seen like any good movies, you guys. Like fucking lame kid. So uh, we're gonna start recording our first video this week. Uh, we're watching Saving Private Ryan. So you know, make sure to like and subscribe to the YouTube channel we're making. And if you can, throw in some money on Patreon because college is really expensive. I hear. Um, I'm a good dad. Uh, I recently actually started doing uh, therapy over the phone, uh, which is really weird to me because I've never paid somebody to talk to me on the phone before. Uh, like. In my entire life, like I've never, like I've never paid for phone sex, and like I don't even think they take my insurance. To be completely honest, uh, and on top of that, like I don't think like my wife would like like me just telling my secrets to some random sex worker. Like, just out of the question. Uh, so uh, it's it's going good though. Uh, I actually had like an appointment just like forgotten about, which is weird when your therapist forgets to call you. It's just like, especially like when you're like. You, you, you call a therapist for a reason, you're like, they, they not like me? What did I do? Like, did I tell them something wrong? Did I go too deep about Mrs. Doubtfire on that last one? Uh, and yeah, I did. That's probably what, what's up. So, uh, so yeah, making a joke about Mrs. Doubtfire is, that's my riddick, you guys, because that's something that actually happened. I didn't actually blow a homeless guy for 12 weeks straight, like, or in a row, not straight, that'd be a fucking marathon right there. But like, that didn't happen, but like, it's still funny, so I like to say it. Uh, but this other thing happened, and it's also funny. So, you know, me and Vin Diesel were like right here, so for he's a lot more money than me. Like, I have none. <sighs> um, let's see here, what else do I got? Ah, so, uh, wait a second, I did that one already. Oh, that's good, I'm getting the light because I'm actually fucking done. You guys can uh, go back to having fun now. Seriousness is over. Thanks. Yeah.